Secrets readers, Carlo here again at Lenbrook and Dolly. And we are here visiting the new Rubicor line from Dolly. And to tell us about Rubicor is Jason Zeidel. <laughs> the original Jay-Z. The original Jason. Oh Welcome to Cedia 2024, booth 3517, Lenbrook. And yes, this is it. This is the debut. This is a culmination of a three-year plan returning Dali to its rightful position of premium status. Oh my and we're goodness. seeing it now with Rubicor. This is outstanding. Jason, Absolutely. Awesome. please tell us about the new Rubicor line. Well, you know, I all started, like I said, about three years ago with the launch of Core, which right. we showed here. Yep. Right after that, that was $120,000 a pair, by the way. Mm -hmm. That was followed the following year with Epicor 11. Half price, 60,000 bucks. Affordable, yeah. you know, for the average well, you guy. You know, just a drop in the shekel bucket, it's okay. Exactly. <laughs> Here we are now, showing that we were able to integrate all that technology into a much more affordable series, Rubicor. Nice. And standing in front of the Rubicor 8, incorporates a lot of the technology. You have the very unique DALI high frequency module, featuring the ribbon and the oversized soft dome tweeter, which, by the way, does not have ferrofluid, a really, really interesting innovation. Okay. Ferrofluid, you know, was originally used for cooling. However, the problem is it offers a lot of resistance. Right. So the tweeter has to work harder. Right. So it gets hotter. Ah. This is a vicious cycle, or Indeed. should I say yes. a viscous a vis cycle? A viscous, perhaps? vicious cycle, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so that was really one of the cool things integrated down from core. Ah. Dali has always used the wood cones, but as you can probably see with your great camera there, there's an embossment of five star basically point. Yeah. It helps to add to the rigidity of the cone, also nice. cuts down dramatically on the resonances. Very cool, so not just for looks, but... Uh, not just for looks. Very so there's the high frequency stuff, there's the low frequency stuff. If you had x-ray vision like I do, you'd be able to see the port. Now the typical port is just a piece of straight PVC flared on both ends. Right. What you're gonna see here is there's a continuous continuous flare. Nice. And if you think of something like a horn, a trumpet, it's always a nice continuous flare because that's how air should flow out of a device. Very so cool. a really, really cool feature there. That, by the way, is the Rubica Rubicor 2. Nice. Rubicor 8 at 12,000 a pair. The 6, slightly smaller at 8. The Rubicor 2, a bookshelf at 4,000 mm bucks. -hmm. This is the cinema. Oh, a lot nice. of people will use it as a center channel, but the whole retro uh, revival has shown that a lot of people are okay to go with larger bookshelf speakers. Uh, and I can easily see a lot of people turning this on the side. Uh -huh. You can take out the module, rotate, rotate it. it. Exactly. Slick. That's I awesome. see us using this as bookshelves. Oh, a lot. yeah, totally. And then right next to it is the Rubicor on wall. Oh, thank you guys for making an on wall speaker. Oh, I God love on wall you. speakers. So that is just absolutely perfect as main channels, if you ask me, but it's also oh, yeah. great as the multi channel speaker. Well, you, you know, some setups. of us have home, who have home feeders in our basement. Who, who, whose wives will not allow us to have full speakers in, in, in the rear channels, need to have on-wall surrounds. And, and we have found that this is a lot less expensive than a divorce lawyer. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very, very much so. I have heard firsthand. But uh, no, this it's beautiful and really, really nice. Yeah, we're oh, really man. thrilled. Everything is now shipping. That's very cool. So this is so this is basically the entire the entire Rubicor line then. That's correct. Very Seeing nice. it here. Oh, and the finishes are the finishes are really nice. I mean, I don't know that I've seen this this one on the six before. Is this a walnut or what is that? That is uh, a new finish, natural walnut. Okay. With a really interesting matching grill. Yeah, the grill's really nice. It's sort of got that kind of tweed-ish look to it, but it's very slick. I like it. That description is very accurate, and I just I love the mix of colors that really brings out and matches the grain. Yeah, really, really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, they all are. They're all really great. Nice they stuff. Are. And Thank these are all much. available now. All available now. Rock and so roll. So buy a pair today. Oh, buy a pair or more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, Jason, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Carlo. I always appreciate your time. You got it.